We'll start with the breath. I will count you in. We're going to do four counts in, seven counts hold, eight counts out, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now place your awareness on your seat, the soles of your feet, and the tip of your tailbone. Just let your awareness rest there. Observe these areas. Observe how your body is making contact with the material that is holding you up, be it a chair, the ground, the floor. And now notice that coming from these areas, from the soles of your feet, your seat, and the tip of your tailbone, there are roots. They have extended out from these areas. And they are indeed buried into Mother Earth. And Gaia is now just going to give you a tug on these roots, just a slight tightening like a hug from Gaia herself, just to deepen your awareness of these roots that are interlaced into the cool soil of Mother Earth. Feel the weight on your seat, feel gravity, feel that blessed pool. And now see that Mother Earth is going to send up through those roots fresh life force energy, sustenance, support, love. She's going to send these up through these roots as if it is a vitamin B or a B pollen shot. Just traveling up those roots. Gleaming, sparkling light making contact with your physical form and feeding into your body, your subtle body and your physical body and see this life force energy traveling up through the areas that are supporting you up the extremities, the legs, the pelvis the core and the belly, up through the chest. And as this energy travels up to the chest area, it gathers in itself, creating a swirl, a, a brighter, more brilliant ball of energy. And then it continues down this energy to the extremities of the arms to the fingertips and also continues to travel through the shoulders relaxing muscles along the way the throat and the jaw area and up through the center of the head and then it reaches the top of the head and sprouts out like sprouts of life
and know that Gaia supports you in every way. And now from above, a shaft of pure light, love, force, brilliance is traveling down in a perfect, brilliant, stellar, gleaming light. And as it comes, you see it traveling toward you, you realize that it is laying open your eighth chakra, a couple of feet above your head, your physical head, and it's brilliant white, and it receives this divine light, and it funnels it down to the top of your head where your crown is seated and your crown chakra lays down its lotus-like petals to receive this brilliant life force energy this divine light this holistic brilliance and your crown chakra spins clockwise and as it does it its frequency creates a brilliant lavender glow flecked with white like starlight. See that this rotation is creating a sphere. It appears to be transparent glass of a lavender color. And if you notice any inclusions, just know that the light is capable and does clean the inclusion and so it spins and it's brilliantly transparent and the light continues and it travels down into the center of the head rests upon the area that is just between the brows and the center of the head and finds an indigo blue wheel lotus flower shape your third eye opens and welcomes the light and spins clockwise in indigo rich but transparent and brilliant blue receiving this love and this light strengthening clarifying allowing truth allowing your truth and the divine truth to be seen and heard, resolving any duality, bringing to awareness that divine truth that you see, that you intake with your eyes and your ears and your senses, that divine truth is one with your truth. Divine holds nothing from you. No truth is obscured from you. And the light travels and it finds your throat chakra, a sky blue, pure, beautiful and brilliant. And it receives the light and spins clockwise. And it glows from within, transparent like a glass sphere. It appears to be made of aquamarine or fair sapphire as it glows and it spins, reminds you that your truth can be spoken freely and that you do speak your truth and your divine purpose at all times. And the light travels down and finds heart chakra in the center of your chest. And heart chakra is grass green and it spins clockwise and it receives the light and it becomes one with the light and any area where the heart has needed mending is made perfectly whole as this is the spiritual truth. This is the higher truth that your heart is whole and perfect. Your heart holds all of the love that you have ever given or received of this lifetime and any lifetime that preceded any lifetime of the future. Your heart holds all of the love of the universe as you are made of love.
and the light continues and finds solar plexus, the wheel, the chakra that is just below the heart, seated in the rib cage area, and it is lemon yellow, and it is as brilliant as the sun, thus it is named solar plexus. It is you. It is the seat of your personality and the connection to higher self. And it lays down its lotus petals and receives the light that has funneled from divine through all of your higher chakras. And it is purified. And it looks like a brilliant glass sphere as it spins clockwise transparent and gleaming and the light travels down and finds your sacral the color of a kara kara orange peel and it receives the light and the light concentrates from within sacral and pours through as the chakra spins clockwise and appears to be a glass sphere of beautiful orange brilliance, transparent, pristine. And the light travels in its shaft down to the root chakra seated at the base of the tailbone where Mother Earth is attached her root to your root. And the light touches upon root chakra, which is a ruby red, a rich, beautiful red. And as the light glows from within this center outward, you see that it is a transparent glass sphere spinning clockwise and glowing red gleaming and now this light encircles you it flows all around you like a iridescent mist and it feels cool and it feels lovely and it feels alive and it feels as life. And as this mist is encircling you, you notice, place your attention upon a bubble that extends all the way around you in every direction that you are in the center of. And this bubble is fragile and it is strong at once. This bubble is your intention. It is you knowing where you begin and end. And it does not separate you from the outside. It allows you to tend to your garden. And the light fills this bubble. And this bubble lets you know that you have boundaries Boundaries not to keep something out, but to keep yourself in. Boundaries that allow you to keep your bubble full with life force energy and to keep it clean with high vibrational life force. This bubble allows you to know when a lower energy that is not yours has entered and to release it. It allows you to release any lower energy that you do accept or that you generate from yourself. It heals and it is in truth whole as you are in truth whole. 